Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is March 13th, uh, 2024. Here, Larry trying to do an extra problem. Let's do it. RNG, a problem that I haven't done before. Uh, did I choose Algo or am I going to get like a database one? I'm going to get that. All right, let, let's try again. This, I, I actually, someone told me this trick that I had to click on algorithm and then that would let me do it. But then I forgot this time, I think. But yeah, uh, all right, let's try again. Uh, let's see. Lexicographical numbers. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, some, so one of my subs, um, uh, sub, my, my YouTube subscribers, that, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to pull up uh, to give credit, um, where it is due. Uh, I should have had it ready though, my fault. Oh, yeah, uh, a person named Fee. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, let me know that apparently I can click on my icon and then there's a, uh, a revert to old version button. I guess I reverted it and it's over here. So now I get the old UI back, which I'm very happy about. Uh, well, I mean, you know, as happy as you can be doing the code. But, uh, but you know, uh, okay, let's take a look. 386, that's the graphical number. Given n, we turn all numbers in the range 1 and n, sort it in lexicographical order. You must write an algorithm that runs in O of n times and uses O of one extra space. All right, I mean, yeah, because um, the thing is that, so my initial dot, to be honest, is just, you know, n log n because you have to return n items. So n log n is usually going to be fast enough and because, you know, uh, an n that's big enough to break n log n is probably unlikely. That said, they want us to do it in linear time and one of all one extra space. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's not that bad, but it really depends on what they mean by all of one extra space. And the reason why I say that is because technically speaking, you're supposed to probably um, analyze this in terms of um, uh, um, you know, just like all the, the size of the input, right? And here, it means like the number of digits. And the idea that I have is going to be all of D, where D is the number of digits. Um, and and really, it's just, uh, it's not that bad. It's just recursion, right? Basically, you just do it one at a time. And we, um, we, uh, what you might call it, right? Like way basic, uh, yeah. Right, and then maybe I have a function that's like you know, I'll call it go because I'm lazy, but you know maybe the current number, and that's really it, right? And then we go all right, um, maybe fly in range from one to nine plus one, which is ten. Uh, go i. And then we can return away, maybe, right? And then here we just go, okay, if um, if current is less than or equal to n, then we, we want to append this to current. I want to turn off autocomplete because I think it was giving me autocomplete. I don't know how to turn it off. Maybe I'll have to do it later. Hmm. Oh, this, this thing. There we go, maybe. Uh, yeah, and then now we just do for i in range of uh, now we can include 0 to 10, and then we just go current times 10 plus i shift and add pretty basic. Um, of course, this will end infinity, so if it, it's too big, then we just return so we don't keep going. I think that should be roughly it. Maybe it's a little bit sloppy, and maybe we need to, uh, uh, you know see if it's fast enough for the biggest number which is what i was trying to do and yeah it looks good i i, I was wondering why this feels a little bit weird this uh, ui um but i think this is the old old ui and not the like in between old ui i don't know there's so many versions but that that said i like the angles i don't i like the angular things i don't mind it but yeah uh that said, uh, I know I wasn't talking about it, but that's pretty much it. Uh, ooh. Wow, this really is the old school one. I don't know how I feel about that anymore. But, uh, uh, but yeah. So what's the complexity here? This is going to be O of N because for every number, 
we just constructed once. I mean, I don't know how you want to say, like, you know, that we do use the stack. So for that reason, you know, I don't know, right? Um, so it's like O of D because this only goes up to like four or five digits. So it's not that big of a deal, but if you want to consider it. Um, yeah, and keeping in mind that o, o, this O of N, which is this input N, does not make it linear uh, because the size of the input is not N. The size of the input is the number of bits represented, or the other way around, number of bits required to represent the number N. So yeah, this is exponential, but it's also exponential time, exponential space. Uh, with all of the extra space, if you want to call it that. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.